We're very fortunate to receive a substantial amount of money uh, from the Cricket Foundation, which is roughly about £70,000 a year. Uh, we have the opportunity then to discuss chance to shine with our clubs, understand which clubs need the project, where it's going to have most impact in terms of the number of kids uh, coming to the club and getting involved through the schools. We provide a, an open invitation to the clubs uh, to tell us what, why they need it. And we then are in a position to choose um, where the money is best placed and best place to go. Uh, we're fortunate that this year we've got 143 primary schools involved in the scheme. We have 28 projects, 48 cricket clubs. Um, so for us within Gloucestershire, you know, it, it, it covers nearly a third of our primary schools. The impact in Wiltshire has been, been superb. I mean, some, some of the things we've done over the, the course of the, the last sort of seven or eight years is try and really identify where our priorities are as a county board. So going back probably six or seven years, we didn't have any girls cricket in the county. Um, so we've really tried to target all of our projects at clubs who have the capability and the desire to drive girls cricket. And as a result now, we've got a girls youth league that's come on the back of some really successful girls chance to shine programs. Um, lots of coaches that are, are, are really inspired um, to drive girls cricket and really improve it. Um, and our Wiltshire Youth League, and I think that's one of the important things about Chance to Shine is joining it up with other aspects of cricket development. So our links between school to club and club into our Wiltshire Youth League has been superb and we've seen that grow over the last sort of six or seven years. So it's really sort of been the catalyst to improve lots of things across the whole of the cricket board. Um, so it's been really inspiring and great to be involved in.